yo, man, you see it, you see it, man, hit that like button. I know you might not like her, but hit that like button for me, man. Malika Andrews is now officially going to be taken over as the host of the NBA Countdown pregame show. Like I said, I do this for y'all. I don't even watch the pregame shows anymore. I stopped watching these shows years ago. Back when cable mattered and we cared about people's opinions, I used to watch those things. But recently, in last few years, I mean, who cares? But Mike Greeny was the host, and... I guess they said it was just too much. Unlike Stephen A. Smith, he actually came up to the bosses and said, hey, y'all working me too hard. <laughs> I need to go home to be with my family. So he's cutting back on some of his schedule. And he's because he already hosts Get Up. And then he hosts another, um, he's got NFL draft duties and stuff like that. So with that consideration, he's leaving. He's still on the network, but he's just not on the show anymore. Then you got to consider they laid off like 300 employees, including on-air personalities. They got rid of Jeff Van Gundy. That was shocking. Um, and then they got rid of Mark Jackson. You know what I mean? The guy who we all know should be an NBA coach, and they got rid of him. Got rid of those two. So when you look at all of the guys that are gone, and now um, this is Mike Breen, they, you know, they got Doris Burke and Doc Rivers. As a commentary team, I'm like, man, Doc Rivers with that horrible voice is going to be out there. Like, I, I, I don't even know what this is going to look or sound like. You might have to watch the games on mute and just really, really love the game of basketball and just watch it like you're watching film because they are merely making it just watered down. And because there's so many people leaving or who have been laid off, now they've given this girl a promotion uh, and lifted her back up. Now she's on more television, more coverage. And it's like, do they not read the audience? Like, a lot of the guys, because mostly guys watch this show and watch this network, they, they can't stand it. And yet they keep putting this girl in everybody's face. And it's like, we got to continue to hear her bring up scandal after scandal at all type of inappropriate times and moments, bringing up stuff that's unnecessary. You know, you had the whole thing with her and Jalen Rose a few months back. You know, they did him dirty also, laid him off. He's no longer going to be a part of this uh, this team. Because it wasn't it. It was Greeny, Stephen A., Mike Wilbon, and Jalen Rose, if I'm not mistaken. So Wilbon and Stephen A. will be back. But those two, they got rid of uh, Jalen. And now he's out there looking for something to do. So, yeah, this, is, this has been a wild summer as far as, like, analysts is being dropped. And she's benefiting off of it because they definitely kept her. We knew she was, I knew she was safe. She wasn't going to go nowhere. When they did the layoffs, I didn't even think about her job being in jeopardy. They like her. They got her on there for a reason. She, they had the the feminist, the the, the he-man, it's like the, the she-man woman haters, you know, club. Like she, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like she, she hates guys. She is, she is a, she's a, she's crazy. And they love putting that type of image on there because it's just, it preaches to what they're trying to push anyway. Disney's taking over. This whole network is completely different. You're going to see, you know, how much money they spent on overpaying guys like McAfee and this one and that one when they could have kept a few decent people they had on the network, just kept them around. I mean, they kept Perkins, if you think Perk is a decent guy. I mean, out of all the people they kept, they really kept some bad people. Like, they kept Kendrick Perkins, Mushmouth Perkins, uh, uh, Steve and they, they, uh, 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 like they brought, they brought him back, her, just, uh, I mean, they, they got rid of Rob Ninkovich, I think they cut him out midway through his grand finale, he had a, like a, he was doing his, like, goodbye speech about how he was so grateful for the opportunity and being hired, and they just cut it out and went to the whole nother, the next show, <laughs> they didn't even get that man get his, his, his last story off, like, they, they've been really disrespectful in how they treated their employees. I don't know who would even want to work there at this point, you know, but now is the time to be independent, go on your own, do your own thing if you can, uh, if you have Jalen Rose, for example. But, yeah, women like this one right here, they, this happens in the workplace all the time. Women like her crawl their way to the top, screw their way to the top, however it may be, and now she is up there as the, as the boss. If you thought she was arrogant before, I remember she was on first take and Stephen A had to check her and was like, hold up, you on my show. You remember that? And you know, now she is the host of the show. So now she's in charge. You know she got to be loving that. That sense of power and entitlement was already there. Now it's going to be even worse. 
There's going to be some real crazy stuff saying being said on that show. And maybe that's why they want it also, because the controversy that this girl brings, because they know people don't like her, and they feel like they need that presence. And I'm not going to say, outside of her personality, she is pretty nice to look at. She's not hard on the eyes at all. That's another thing why they like her. But she can cause that controversy and get people riled up and start spark conversation and interest and they know she can she's been viral several times they know they got analytics teams they not stupid they know they see what's going on twitter and everything they know what's going on they want this so she gets promoted uh let me know what y'all think if y'all still watch uh we i know like espm i only watch the live games at this point uh, i'm not sitting around all day long just sitting around watching all of these shows talking about the same four topics it's like they only talk basketball, football now. They didn't talk any other sport. It's just watered down. And if and if you're not a Stephen A. Smith fan or a Mike Greeny fan, you might as well stop not even watch the damn channel. Bottom line. Or at least this girl. So let me know what y'all think in the comments. Hit the like button. I'm out.